Ricky's IS300, sequential IS300 right there. There's Ricky. So what are we working with, Ricky? What have you done cosmetically, mechanically? You're lowered, that's for sure. Yeah. You got some tires, I know you got those. Let's start from the front and then we'll work our way to the back. So okay, what are so, we working right here? So the first things first, of course, we have the Altesa Koki grill. We did get it repolished to a Galaxy Black so, as well as the emblem. We do have the aftermarket Dynamax. Okay. Um, dark housing headlights. I'm gonna replace it for a dark housing Altesa eventually. We do have the full front bumper conversion from the Alteza Gita with the Gita Lip factory. We have obviously the stock hood. We have the Scura Garage fenders. We have the Vertex V2 side skirts, the two-tone. You know, obviously, two-tone, look at that. Two-tone, we do have the Be Free manual mirrors with a little bit of, you know. A little bit of. Pizzazz too, look at that. We also nice. have the Alteza OEM visors. So, and then we're running on these wheels. We got the 07, 08, IS250, IS350 rims with the 18 by 8.5 in the rear with the 255, 35, 18s with the Toyo Proxys R1 Triple Eights. We got the Alteza bumper with the lip. Front is a 225. 40 R18s, Toyota Proxies, Triple A R's. It's a staggered setup you got Yeah, we here. got the staggered setups. Sweet. You guys good at it? We got yeah. the... <laughs> well, I have... We got the factory spoiler, clear tail lights, clear truck oh. lights. Oh! And obviously got the custom... Custom drum. plate. What do we got here for this tip? We have a Spec D fabricated straight pipe catback exhaust. Little... See if you guys could see that. Okay. So then, cat back on it, nice. Yeah, and then we got the little bullet antenna just for cosmetics. Oh. oh. Sweet. Do you know what cal that is? What caliber is it? Do we know? No, we do not. No, I got it from Amazon. That's fine. I think the luminous tint, chrome silver, reflector tint, 5% all around. And you said you've had this on for how long, the tint? Probably like a good two years. Never been pulled over by a cop. Only been complimented. You guys hear that? Cali legal. Cali legal. All right. So why is 300 why did you want to build an uh, is out of anything you could have built i know you're into toyotas you're yeah, into lexus I just, I don't so know. I? my family we're, we come from a li long line of toyota fans and i wanted something you know i guess more towards like compact but also mod friendly like this has a wide oh, range great of, aftermarket support for yeah this and i like the look ever since i was like what 15 16 i always wanted one but i was never able to find one right until i like 2021 the thanksgiving year which i had this car for like good, almost three years so okay not too bad it took a lot of time you to bought the car 90 000 miles for four grand in san diego by this pilot guy at the airport so oh you got it off a pilot yeah some Damn. old head, white dude but you know he wanted nine grand but it needed a lot of like maintenance mm. it needed cats have an oil leak. Wait, so what are you running performance wise? Performance wise, I just have a, uh, I think either two or three with the flash tune. And I, like, it was a buddy of mine, so he charged me like, I'm gonna be like, mm -hmm. that's still like, good. Like 250. So this car is okay. probably pushing like 315, 300, 320. Okay. I do have dyno sheets too, but. Oh, also, you got, the, you got yeah, the proof. I got Sick. Proof, but, yeah. Okay. Well, not too bad for the most part. And right. stock. You were talking about throwing the big brake kit on here, weren't you? Yeah, I have it, and I just got to get it painted and kind of like re rebuilt. So it's, it's the IS350 uh, caliper BBK conversion, okay. which will basically have to cut off the dust shield, replace obviously these calipers, and go a little bit bigger with the brakes and the rotors. Comes with uh, the stainless stainless steel brake lines as well as you know obviously better performance it's a six 
piston caliper, so. What do these come with? These ones come with just a, I think a, it's a four or a two piston. No, oh, okay. it's a two piston caliper. So they're not too bad, like if you're just for daily, but if you want more performance, I say go LS430. Right. Or the IS350. My opinion, I think the IS350 is better in performance. It's cheaper and you've got clearance on the 17s and the 18s compared to the LS. You have to go 18s or 19s. So that's the move for sure right there. Yeah, I have like the whole kit of it ready. Uh -huh. I just want to get it painted and kind of rebuilt. Get it ready to put on basically. Yeah. Sweet. Favorite part about the build? What, do, what would you say is like... Ah, dude, there's so many. I think honestly, I'd say many things. The two-tone, of course. After the two-tone, it'd be the Altezza bumpers, front and rear with the lips. Second or third would be the fenders. I love these fenders. And then fourth, of course, yeah, that's is That's aggressive. The, Once you get your wheels. You are also going to do wheels, obviously. These are still the yeah, OEM Lexus. Like, I might do spacers or do like a two or three piece wheel. But I definitely want to do the, um, the work BSFs. Uh -huh. like two racks, easily, minimal. Stance boy things. That's what you're doing, right? Yes. You're aiming for. I mean, I would say you're more of a stance. Mm, you do yeah. have the. You do have. What are these? R triple eights. Yeah. You do have the R triple. Am I showing the interior? Yeah, of course. And this is sequential. So how how did you go about swapping this? All you had to do was basically shave off the the housing where okay. the transmission is and kind of like. But the thing what's cool about the sequential it's very it's much smaller than the automatic transmission as well as it's way better in performance as towards right. like the man it's a six speed too which is awesome another cool thing about sequential you do have the option of getting the clutch or you can get the gearbox that's basically right next to the tranny and it kind of just shifts for you while you switch gears it had like what i had when i did first did the swap i ended up kind of like kind of molesting it or like or covering it with a bunch of sound deafening because it was really loud like I'm it sounded like yeah sure it sounded like a tractor so oh right now it's not that bad you can kind of hear it mm -hmm. but for the most part it's way better than if i were to just do without like sound deafening we do have the full Atesda interior com cloth conversion so we have the seats rear seats the door panels we do have the quick release setup with the Altezza digital Look at um, those cluster gauges man so nice and then we also have the rear seat which is basically oh, that's, a, sorry, that's that's fine a little dirty, we'll cut that out yeah no my bad we do have hey the, you got the jack in here like yeah, that keep it. we gotta keep the cool lens so. yeah all types it's a performance car and yeah. it has performance parts in it that's good i mean even in the back seat that's the ones that make these ice beamers oh, okay, okay ice beamer shift knob we do have the $60 um, oh. touchscreen navigation. You want to turn that on so we can see it? Yeah, of course. Sweet. Let's get in here. Look at that wheel, too. And this wheel, it's an uh, NRG, right? Yeah, this is the um, carbon, um, forged carbon fiber um, Mas Matsuri edition uh, NRG steering wheel. Right. We got the cluster, of course. Typical check engine light with the <laughs> ABS because of the seats. Okay. But it's all good. That's fine. Car we have right here. Oof. So McLaren, I can't change it. That's but fine. I'm sure you would have your car's photo cool. on there instead but of that. But it's cool though because you can do Android, media player, transmitter, airplay, which is basically you can merge from your phone mm -hmm. to the thing. So this okay. is actually on Apple CarPlay. Oh, this thing too. I wanted it. Oh, it's a little dusty because we were driving right now. But uh, who made you that? The no, IS eBay, that is, dude. There's a guy he makes. Yeah, it's like 20 bucks, dude. Honestly, it's not too bad. That's I like sweet. the look of it. Yeah, no, it looks. It, it's so, unique, definitely. It gives it, you kind of like that super front, but obviously it's not a super. It's just nice. IS so. 300. So. It's good though because it really does match with your car well. I feel like if your car was any other color than this two tone. Yeah, what do you? Good. What are we calling this? What's the name? It's a. Uh, it's, it's not a panda because it's not. No, white. Yeah, of course not. Mm. Like, and it's basically factory paint on both. You got the. Millennium silver and then you obviously got the obsidian black on top. So <laughs> I didn't even know that. I think you might have told me but I forgot. So yeah, these are both OEM paint. colors. Yeah, OEM colors. Back wow. You know when you're ready. <laughs>
uh, thank you for your time, good sir. That's my left hand. I'm sorry. Let me <laughs> switch it up. Switch it up. It's a little sweaty. Um, IS300. Phenomenal looking vehicle. Another shot right there with the owner. Uh, yeah. If you want to have your car recorded, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. DM me on Instagram. That's that. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah, that's it. See you guys. I'll test it, alright, bye. You wanna hey. do another one? I'm gonna do like just a cut, like just a. Just, I wanna do an awkward ending. Right. Hmm? Well, the front, the headlights?